Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a four-box break of 2018 Prism World Cup Soccer Random Country box break number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is from a fresh case, by the way. So we'll pop that open in just a second. But first, big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Here are the countries and the combos. I don't know why that's acting all goofy. Hang on a second. Let me pull that from a different... A better list here. There we go. All the countries in the combos. Let's randomize each list. Uh, six the hard way. Three and a three. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Andy down to Vasilis. Three and a three, six times for the countries. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. There you go up six times. Sweden down to Colombia. All right, so Andy, you have Sweden. Eric Jennings, Croatia. Andy, last ball mojo. You got us, the United States and England. Vasilis, Netherlands, Morocco, Vasilis, Austria, Chile. Uh, Jason, you got Germany. Andy with Denmark, Egypt. Jason with Australia, Belgium. Vasilis with France. Dino with Mexico. Kurt with Argentina. Vasilis, Japan, Korea. Jason with Uruguay. Eric Jennings, Norway, Saudi Arabia. Brazil for Andy. Poland and Peru as well. Vasilis with Wales. Switzerland, Tunisia. Iceland for Aaron. Dino with Nigeria, Panama. Vasilis, Portugal. Eric Jennings, Italy, Iran, and Vasilis, you have the rest. España, Serbia, Senegal, Russia, the host country, Costa Rica, and Colombia. There you have it. Trades are allowed if you want to. Let's alphabetize by country. And while people are considering trades, let's pop open the case. And let's see which four boxes we're going to do. There's a quadrant of four right here. That's a bank of four. And here is another group of four right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we'll roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's all the way over here. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do this side right here. These boxes we'll save for next time. Maybe later tonight. I'll keep these boxes near me just in case. I feel like we can knock out another one tonight. They're only $16.99 a random country. And with the World Cup coming up in about a month, I think uh, this stuff will start getting pretty hot on secondary markets and just collecting in general. The hype will be there. So there we have it. Any trades? Does not look like there's going to be any trades. So let's close up that trade window. All right, there it is, break seven. And there we go. Good luck, everybody. Now, I, I always like to remind everybody that not every box has an autograph. 
If there's no autograph, there's generally like a low numbered parallel, like 20 or 20 or less. But much like basketball, any low number parallel like that could could even be like the cost of a uh, could be like the cost of an autograph too. Uh, Andy giving us the giving us the uh, uh, Andy Schrofer is giving us the Bundesliga update here. Hoffenheim qualified for the Champions League today and finished third in the Bundesliga by beating Dortmund. Uh, who, who's who's leading the table there? I know Liverpool is playing tomorrow. I think they're playing Brighton Hove Albion tomorrow, unless it was today and I forgot. They're usually very early in the morning here on the West Coast. I think it's tomorrow. But I think if they at least draw against Brighton Hove Albion, they, they should they should guarantee themselves qualification for the Champions League next year. So they just gotta do that and then they can put their minds to winning the Champions League this year. Which will be a crazy match. So, oh, Bayern Munich won the Bundesliga, then, then Schalke. And Hamburg fans were relegated? Hamburg was relegated? They were not going to be too happy about that. Fans weren't happy about it, apparently, says Eric Jennings. No one could, be, no one could possibly be happy about, especially from a major city, could be happy about, uh, about being relegated. Is it really the first time ever for Hamburg? That's crazy. So they've always been in top flight? That is crazy. I think even, I think even Liverpool must have been in like second division like in the 1930s or something crazy like that. But first time ever, that's crazy. All right, Guardado for L3. So I'll be passing through some of the some of the inserts. I mean, like stuff like this will ship, but a lot of the comments aren't gonna ship. And wow, that'll ship. Woo! Tony Cruz for Germany. Jason Lawner with that one. Wow. It's a gold vinyl, I think they call it. Four out of five. You know, Andy had actually offered Jason England for Germany. And, and Jason L said, I would be tempted with England, but going to stick because I know I'll regret it if I do the trade. I think you would have regretted it. Wow, nice one. <laughs> nice one. Uh, Jason, with Germany, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Yeah, that card is gold for sure. Wow. So this is also not numbered. That was a surprise for sure. Donny Alves, 196 out of 190. I'm sure that'll get your spot money back. <laughs> that'll get the cost of admission back, probably for all your spots. Donny Alves for Brazil, that'll go to Andy. 196 out of 199. Gabriel Jesus. Those Mojo refractors not numbered, but they will ship. Morata for Spain. Rangar Sigurdsson for Iceland. There's England's Jordan Henderson, Liverpool's as well. Thiago Silva. Matt Ryan, the soccer player, not the American football player. And 
There's Gilfie Sigurdsson. Dimitri. There's Dimitri. Kombarov. 17 out of 99 for the host country, Russia. There's Lewandowski for Poland. Who has got Russia? Vasilis with the Serbia, Senegal, Russia combo team. You know, Russia has a... They're actually favorites to, to advance out of their group. Group A, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Uruguay. They are minus 350, ladies and gentlemen. Means they're, means they're favorites. Minus one, well, not the full, Uruguay is a favorite, but they're minus, Uruguay is minus 400 to advance from the group. Not to win, just to advance from the group. The top two advance. Then Russia is minus 350. Is that going to happen? Ooh, nice group E. These have, these have some nice value too. Um, host countries generally do tend to advance out of the group. Not sure how good Russia can be though. Uh, group E, Brazil are obviously favorites to advance out of the group. Who's, who's, the, who's second out of the group? Who else comes out of here? I mean, Brazil's gotta win this group, right? That's gotta be pretty easy for them to play Switzerland, Costa Rica, and Serbia. Serbia could be pretty tough. I could see the Serbians maybe advance out of here. The Swiss maybe? Oh, this will be a randomizer, of course. Igalo for Nigeria. And there's your first box. Nice first box. These act, these group cards actually do pretty well on secondary market, especially it's with Brazil on there. But the highlight, of course, Tony Cruz. I'll have to put that on the uh, on the old social media, Jason. Gotta put that out there. All right, next box. Andy saying Switzerland to get out of that group. Switzerland are are the second favorites to advance out of the group. All right, so who's in that randomizer, by the way? Andy with Brazil. Switzerland will be Vasilis. Costa Rica, Vasilis. Serbia, Vasilis. All right, so it's, it's, it's one Andy, three Vasilises in that randomizer. So now Vasilis does have the odds, but Andy still has a chance. Just like Switzerland has a chance to advance out of the group. They are minus 105. Slight favorites, or slight second favorites. Brazil is minus 2,500 to, uh, to advance out of the group. So that's it's really no value to bet that at all. They're even minus 400 to win that group, which I think is going to happen. But um, Switzerland's minus 105. That's interesting to advance. If you want dogs, um, Costa Rica is plus 325. Serbia plus 115. Yeah, I mean, according to Bovada, as of maybe a week ago, Andy, I, this is what I have in my little spreadsheet here that I use. But, uh, yeah, Brazil is minus 2,500 to advance out of the group. To win the group, minus 400. This is as of, when, when did I write all this stuff down? This is all, as of late April. I don't think it's changed much since then. I think those lines will start moving a little bit more, Like I, I guess like a week before. But but right now, there's pretty much no <laughs> zero value. Unless you're like a Brazilian billionaire. And you're like, yeah, I'll put a million dollars on on Brazil to advance out of the group at minus 2,500. 2, All right. 
Harry Kane for England. Sergio Romero, Isco. Yeah, the last day of the Premier League is always fun, Eric Jennings. All the games are on the same time. NBC has, uh, for here in the States, for us, the uh, NBC will have all the games on like MSNBC, NBC, all their different networks. And there'll be a bunch of games all on at once to see what happens. Madison, would you guys be up to do a basketball mixer? Yes. We would. But we just don't have enough boxes for a basketball mixer. That's why it hasn't really appeared. Nice connections here for Costa Rica. Dembele for the favorites to win the World Cup. Belgium could be. Did someone say that earlier? Belgium would be a could be an interesting underdog. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was. I was just saying that in my head. Uh, Radamel Falcao Garcia for Colombia. Eighty three out of one forty nine. Nice one for Colombia. That'll be for Vasilis. And that one as well, even though that's not number, but that'll go out to you too. Belgium would be good value. They got a, they got a lot of young players. It's it's there. I think they refer to this World Cup group as their you know their so called golden generation. So if they all put it together, but yeah, Eric, you're at Man City. Just from the get go, just took off with the league. And just didn't turn, didn't look back. Seventy seven out of ninety nine. But what what an what an impressive season for them. Um, I think Barcelona for La Liga had an impressive season, right? I think they didn't lose a single match. I'm pretty sure. Seventy seven out of ninety nine. Dani Alves for Brazil. That'll go to Andy. Are we gonna get more basketball anytime soon? I'm not sure. I think there's uh, there's another basketball release later this month that's on the horizon. I think that's when we'll get more basketball. Is that Wayne Rooney? Is that an autograph? It is. Andy with England's Wayne Rooney. So there you go. Shrek going out to you. As a Liverpool supporter, no, no real love for this guy. And then he goes, he's an, he was an Everton guy too. So from one rival to another, but that's a nice autograph. Is he? Play, I don't think he's playing this World Cup, right? But there are like some some injuries for England. Yeah, he's on DC United now. Isn't that crazy? But there are some injuries on that England team. Liverpool's Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Not that Rooney would be playing his, his position, but but he's out. They're going to need at least some depth. But maybe they'll get it from the younger ranks. Not sure. Although for England, maybe it's time to, to just kind of move on from, from the old school, look to the new school. Give them the experience and minutes that they need. England is always a weird... I never know what they're going to do in the World Cup. Uh, World Cup is in Russia this year. So around Moscow, Sochi, those areas. Should be a decent amount of traveling. And then I think as from Moscow and as far down as some areas in the Ukraine... Near, near the Ukraine, not Ukraine, obviously, but near there too, I think. I don't think, I want to say the, the, the conditions, like it's, I don't think it's going to be as drastic as, as going from, uh, as players going from like Moscow to, to Southern areas, as it was when you went from like Rio de Janeiro to like, uh, in the middle of the Amazon, right? Where the humidity and the temperatures were completely different. 
as opposed to the, the, the coastal temperatures. So I don't think there's going to be that kind of drastic changes, but it should be interesting, though. England is, uh, yeah, Deli Ali and uh, Marcus Rashford definitely need to step up. Big loss for Liverpool for losing the Ox, especially in that, especially in the, the Champions League final. Yes, I'm almost positive that England failed to qualify for Euro two years, a couple years ago. But they, they always have the individual talent, but it just doesn't seem to come together. England is um, England is with a group Belgium, Panama, Tunisia, and England. England is minus 750 to advance from the group, so they're pretty favored to advance in the group. Plus 120 to win the group. Belgium is minus 125. They're the favorites to, to win the group. Bub, what's going on? Carl in the house. I wish those uh I wish these were actually numbered. Nice, that card is gold. Brian Oviedo for Costa Rica, that goes to Vasilis. That is nine out of ten. That is strong. Da Vincent Sanchez, 55 out of 65 for Colombia. That'll go to Vasilis. Paulinho, Brian Ruiz, there's Neymar, is Neymar going to be ready for the World Cup? I know that he messed up his ankle or something like that, and he was unable to play the rest of the Champions League tournament with Paris Saint-Germain, so... Wonder if he's gonna be back. Yeah, sure, Andy. If I if I see one as I go through this, then I will. That this will definitely ship. Mohamed Salah has been incredible for not only not only his country, but for for club as well. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. That this is this guy is going to be the terrifying guy, and, you know. Remember how Cristiano Ronaldo started this La Liga season pretty uh, kind of slow, actually. But this guy's always been dominant in the Champions League, so definitely terrified for my club Liverpool to face him. There's your Messi, Gold Rush. Definitely terrified to face him in the Champions League final. Very nervous about that. I actually felt pretty confident about. Um, about Manchester City, actually, you know, because Liverpool have, have played strong against them during the uh, during the Premier League season. But Liverpool has had a relatively has had a relatively you know easy path through the Champions League. There's Stefan Lichtsteiner for uh, Switzerland. Vasilis with that one. 98 out of 149. So they've had a relatively easy path, comparatively speaking, as opposed to Real Madrid, who had to play Paris Saint-Germain. They had to play Juventus. They had to play Bayern Munich. You know, so... Slide this over right here. So we'll see. We'll see how that we'll see how that works out. Well, 
I mean, if, if one worked out, out, when we talk about wagering, obviously, it's for entertainment purposes only, kids. But, you know, we're sports fans. We enjoy things like games of chance like this. So, you know, so, so I think a lot of that audience crosses over. Um, but, yeah, I think, uh, I think the value would certainly be, you know, with Liverpool. I actually don't remember what Real Madrid value, but I know I got... I got Liverpool to win. Well, the golden rule is don't don't bet on your own team. There's two, two you don't people normally don't bet with their heads, they bet with their hearts. But this is a Champions League final, and I'm a casual better, square better. So I was just like, I'm going with Liverpool to win plus 195. I got that. I got plus 195 in last week. I don't know how the odds have changed since then, but that's what I have them at. But yeah, in a one game format, definitely more confident about them in a one in a one game format, that is for sure. Otherwise, I'd just I'd just be like, uh <laughs> Do I have, do we have Champions League lines up here? I know I know Bovada does. Second half of natural treasure sold out? Nice. That'll be for uh That'll be for after this, I think, actually. Uh, there we go. Champions League final. Liverpool still at plus 190 to win. Real Madrid plus 110 to draw plus 255. I guess draw after regulation. And then they'll just keep going after that. Bit. Interesting. I don't think it'll go to extended time. Oh, you can also pick winners too. Winner, just straight up winner, after extended time or after whatever that case may be. Um, shootouts. Real Madrid minus 140, Liverpool plus 115. I think that is considering that. I don't know, I think. I think Real Madrid's penalty takers would probably be, be better. How about NASCAR tonight? Who do I like for a fan duel lineup? Um. NASCAR. Uh, Kevin Harvick. Well, it depends on where they. St well, actually, actually it depends on where the uh, where their starting position is. I usually I usually double check starting position and then odds to win, just whatever Vegas odds have whatever driver to win. And then you pick the driver that's like, for whatever reason, is in starting position 15 or something like that, or 20. And then you could get all the points for, for uh, advancing in the places. Uh, Kim Ki-hee for Korea. 94 out of 199. Oh, Harvick is pole. That might not be a lot of value in Harvick then. Although you got to get one of those. I'm terrible at FanDuel or DraftKings or FanDuel NASCAR. Um it's just it's it's tough. I think there's it's just so arbitrary too. I feel like one 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 wreck, you know, at the at the end could screw things up. Wait, where is the race, Jason? I think that that matters too. If it's like a ah, look at this, Philip Coutinho, former Liverpool guy, he forced his way out of Liverpool. To go to Barcelona for Champions League glory. The irony, of course, is that Liverpool are in the Champions League final and not Barcelona. Although I think Coutinho against Liverpool would have been cup tied anyway. I don't think he would have been allowed to play for Liverpool. Uh, or play for Barcelona, that is. So nice one for Brazil, Andy, with Coutinho. Oh, you tried for the first time last week, ended up winning, so you're trying it again. Well, might as well. You're up. There's David Silva. It's in Kansas. I don't know what kind of course that is, but Huang Hee Chan for Korea, 28 out of 65. 
Another insert for Vasilis and the Koreans. I don't think Korea is going to go very far in the World Cup. They're in it, though, unlike us. United States not in it. Another Lionel Messi. Courtois, Pedro. Mojo, and looks like that is going to be that. Nice Cristiano Ronaldo. There you go, folks. That's the end of the break. Quick randomizer. There you have it. Another nice box. This has been a nice box. Remember this? Tony Cruz from the first box. That was pretty incredible. All right, randomizer time. So thanks for hanging out with us on that soccer break. Always nice to have a little soccer chat. Especially, there's going to be a little bit more of this as we get closer and closer to the World Cup. So we're just setting you up. Just getting you prepared. Brazil. Switzerland. Do I not know how to spell Switzerland? There. I don't know what I missed. Maybe a Z. Costa Rica <laughs> and Serbia. All right. Let's randomize those four. Six times. Three and a three. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Country on top is stays with Switzerland. Vasilis had the odds. He had three out of the. He had three out of the uh, four. So there you go, Vasilis. These actually, I think, do well on a secondary market, especially ones with big countries with them too. So double check that. There could be some strong value here. So thanks very much, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. JaspiesHobbyland.com has more, uh, more World Cup. No, your home of the World Cup, Jaspies Hobbyland. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.